And it wasn't until, again, CoffeeZilla made these videos that it came into public discourse and Logan Paul finally, after years of being silent about scamming tons of people out of millions of dollars, uh, where he decided to talk about it. And he said, while I generally appreciate Steven, Kavizilla's creative genius and exceptional work ethic, I mean that, this is simply not true. When appropriate, all bad actors will be exposed, explained, and held fully accountable. I'll speak further on Impulsive January 3rd. You had two years to talk about this. Why did it take somebody making a three-part docuseries to finally own up to your fuck-ups and mistakes? As the majority stakeholder in CryptoZoo, that makes no sense to me. He was super happy to sell his crypto eggs for $2.5 million. He was super happy to sell millions of dollars of CryptoZoo token, but not so happy to actually man up when he needed to on a project that he said, in his own words, would make people money that he was super passionate about and poured a million dollars of his own cash into, which, according to CoffeeZilla, was also a lie. Anyway, uh, the, he, he blocked CoffeeZilla, so I don't know how much he actually appreciated Steven's creative genius. Uh, and then he also invited CoffeeZilla to come on to his podcast, which is kind of funny because he's replying to a Twitter, or excuse me, an email thread that involves a third request for comment. I mean, CoffeeZilla did his fucking research as much as any journalist that I've ever seen as somebody with a journalism degree. Three attempts to reach out for comment, silence, and only when the video blows up is he trying to cover his ass. And this is also a bit funny that he invited him on Impulsive because it came just a day after CoffeeZilla invited him to come on his show privately, like a mature person would, as opposed to Logan Paul who tweeted it out. Either way, super disappointing to see for somebody who I thought was on a redemption trail, who had matured quite a bit, whose content I thought was really amazing, uh, but it seems like Logan Paul's main ability is to hype things up, uh, create a lot of attention around things, make good videos, but not to follow through, be a good ethical and moral actor as somebody with a lot of power and, and, uh, and a lot of fans.